Hi, I'm Stephen Combs. I'm the Chancellor of Ivy Tech Community College Columbus, and I want to talk to you today about returning to campus. As you know, we're coming back to campus in limited fashion starting this fall, but we've got some procedures for you along the way. So I'm going to take you on a little tour up to the front door, and I want to talk about those procedures. So the first thing you're going to notice is we tell you to stop. Before you enter the door, we want you to ask yourself these questions. Have you had a cough, fever, chills, muscle pain, sore throat, difficulty breathing, or new loss of taste or smell. So we want you just to ask those questions to make sure that you're thinking about that before you enter the building to keep our employees and your fellow students safe. So let's go back to this next sign. The next thing that's important, and you're gonna notice I have mine around my neck right here, this is face mask. We do require you to have face masks on campus. If you're an employee, we give you those face masks. If you're a student, we're gonna give you one face mask. It's a nice cloth face mask that you can take home, you can wash, and you can reuse it the next day after you wash it. You can also put it on a lanyard if you want to make sure you remember it. That's what I've chose, chosen to do. Uh, but before you uh, walk into the building, we are gonna ask you to do that. Now, face masks we'll talk about a little bit later and how you can get that. So uh, let's go ahead and walk a little bit forward. And as we do, I'll talk a little bit more about our building. So we are taking this very seriously, COVID-19, and we do wanna make sure that you are safe in this environment of the college. Now this is polling hall. This will be the main entrance. This is the only way you can enter the building currently. Now we will open the entrance in the back in our wing 200 so that you can get between polling hall and our AMCE. But for now, everybody must come through the polling hall main entrance. So let's walk up to the polling hall main entrance and see what that looks like for you. I'm going to take my mask off because it is hard for me to talk. And as you can see, it's ripping my glasses right off. But this is so you can better hear me. But normally I would have my mask on. And when you come over here, if you are a guest or you don't have a mask, we do have one mask for you. And that's available for you to place on. Before you go any further, you have to have a mask on your face at that point. And then while you're here, we have this. You should do this. When you walk in the door, you should help yourself some sanitizer before you get your mask. We also have sanitizer here and we're gonna have sanitizer throughout the building. So every time you think you've touched something uh, that you don't want somebody to follow up after you or you don't wanna to touch after someone else has touched that thing, then make sure you use that. It is everywhere, you can do it. One thing that hasn't changed is Sarah. Sarah is still here to uh, greet you. You'll follow the steps six feet apart. If you need to see Sarah and Sarah can help you, you'll stand here. That maintains social distancing for Sarah. Sarah will be happy to help you. She'll help you get your mask, answer your questions, and it's just gonna be a great experience for you. So that's getting through the front door. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what your classroom experience is gonna look like, and we're gonna do that down the hall. We're gonna to talk to Dr. Jackie Fisher, our Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Okay, thank you, Dr. Combs. Welcome to the 2020-2021 academic year. We are certainly living in unprecedented times right now, and I wanna congratulate all of you for choosing to continue your education during this time. Over the summer, our faculty here at the Columbus campus have been working hard to design a schedule with your safety in mind and also put you in a situation where you can continue to pursue your academic goals. And I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking you through the different types of class formats that you might have uh, this coming academic year. Um, one format is the traditional format. So with the traditional format, it is just that. It's uh, traditionally, it is the way you are used to learning, where you come to campus face to face. We have designed these classes with uh, safety of our employees and, and students in mind. Uh, students will be appropriately distanced throughout uh, the classroom or the lab. Um, we have uh, lowered the cap sizes on our uh, classroom capacities. So if you're coming to class, in the traditional format, you can expect to, to come and have access to any specialized equipment and, and lab supplies that you need to, to complete your courses. In the blended format, the blended format is what you might commonly known, be commonly uh, referred to as hybrid courses. And we have two different options within the blended format. We have blended traditional and blended online. So if your class is labeled as blended traditional, what that means is most of your class will be held in the traditional format, while some of your class will be held in the online environment. If your class is labeled as blended online, then the majority of your class will be on the, in the online environment with some of your uh, coursework taking place in the traditional face-to-face -face format. 
Our next option is Learn Anywhere. And Learn Anywhere, this is um, a format that we're very excited to introduce here in the fall of 2020. And we have a number of faculty who, have, who will be teaching in this format. And this format provides our students with the most flexibility. So with Learn Anywhere, the class is offered in a traditional format on defined uh, class times and class days. It is also broadcast in real time, virtually. And then students can also choose to watch a recording of class. So with Learn Anywhere, you have three options. You can come to class in real time, you can watch it from the comfort of your home, comfort and safety of your home in real time, or you can go back and watch a recording of the class. The virtual format. With the virtual format, the class will meet on defined days and during defined times, and you, can, you will join that class virtually during those days and times. You'll also have the option if you have uh, child care responsibilities, job responsibilities, and you can't join at that time, you'll have the option to watch the class, watch the virtual class in the recorded format. And then we have the traditional online environment where you are working asynchron asynchronously throughout the class. Uh, you'll have, of course, you'll have access to your faculty member throughout the class as well as a number of assignments that will give you an opportunity to, to interact with your classmates. So regardless of the class format that you're taking, we are doing our best to, to make sure that you can continue to pursue your goals and be successful. Um, you will also have access to a number of support services such as tutoring, our library services, and then of course our faculty will be available to, uh, to answer any questions as you have them. Um, congratulations on choosing to continue your education and work towards a better and brighter future. Um, it is important and Ivy Tech is, is committed to, to seeing you through to success. Best of luck this semester. Hi, I'm Erica Spear, Director of Instructional Sites for Ivy Tech Columbus. As Dr. Combs and Dr. Fisher have mentioned, we have several new safety procedures on site. Our facilities team has been working very hard to ensure we have a clean and sanitized environment for when you return. First thing you need to remember is that you will be receiving a face mask at the front desk from Sarah, who you saw earlier in the video. You will need your C number and she will give you one face mask for you to wear while on site. A couple other things that we've been talking about and how you can help keep Ivy Tech healthy once you return, come with me and we'll talk about it. So the first thing you need to remember is we must wear our face mask at all time, no, where, no matter where you are on campus. Second thing is we have some hand sanitizer located throughout campus, so please feel free to use that. And then thirdly, we have provided social distancing here in the Commons. You will notice there's still chairs available for you to use, so please feel free to make yourself at home and still use the Commons area. As we talk about all of these things, these are things that are going to help you and others on campus safe while we live in this COVID environment. Thank you for being a part of Ivy Tech and helping us stay safe. Thank you, Erica, for talking about our processes to get students back to campus. I want to remind each of you that we are starting campus classes this fall. They start in August. However, if you miss our August start date, we do have an October start date that you can start your college career with us as well. So we hope to see you on both of those. So again, remember, practice social distancing, wear your mask, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall.